Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Bold and Beautiful's Hope Kiss Thomas, but Steffi and Finn will wind up paying the price. What happened in Italy surely won't stay in Italy as everyone on Bold and Beautiful jumps on their separate spurts and bodies it back to Los Angeles. Get ready because we are probably in for weeks of talk about that Thomas slash Hope kiss, not to mention the one participated by Steffi slash Liam. But the real question might be what happens as a result of all these lawless smooches. Giving it nearly all down as usual, Bold and Beautiful gave away the big moment, promoting not only the Thomas slash Hope kiss but the fact that Liam witnessed it. I am not saying this twist would have been some big shock or anything. But isn't the whole point of a cleaner to keep us tuning in by leaving us to wonder what will be coming? Will they or won't they? Well, if you saw the promo, you knew the answer to that bone. Credit Bell, Philip Television from Sheila's return to her falling off Bill's deck to the Thomas slash Hope kiss, this show has time and again forgotten that half the fun of watching is getting to witness that OMG moment in real time. That said, I was kinda surprised by how sexy the factual kiss was. I've long blamed this show for its ridiculously slow pacing, but I've also said they surely know how to play the big moment. Hope reaching out to clutch Thomas' face and pull him in for a smooch as the music swelled and we cut to Liam's eyes chivying out of his head was well. I am not going to say it was worth the delay, but it was beautifully offered, directed and performed. On the L side, the show kept quiet about the fact that Liam and Steffi would wind up participating a kiss of their own but more on that in a moment hot or not. Of course, the Thomas slash Hope lip lock only served to coil up the battle between Thope and Hop suckers. The former say this was hot as heck and a long time in coming, the ultimate suppose it's frame repulsive to have Hope philandering after a Joe who well, you know, did all the stuff Thomas did. Then let me just take that from you for a while, Credit image Howard Wise slash JPI, I am really torn then, to be honest, and I suppose where I eventually come down on this story will depend on what's motivating Hope's conduct. So far, we've been given no real answers to that. Is she attracted to him? Developing a split personality? Morphing into her mama? The angle that I've liked stylish, then's that Thomas has truly been working to be a better person. Sure, nearly all of that work has been done via off-screen remedy sessions, but we know Thomas is a changed man because everyone tells us so every five seconds. Fit whole body eye roll then. What confused me was that Thomas and Hope kissed. Pull piecemeal also kissed again, also walked down the thoroughfares holding hands, visited a coffee shop, did everything but actually talk about or reply to what had just happened between them. What the factual? Sorry, Finn this being Liam, he of course didn't defy his woman. Rather, he wandered around dazed and confused until he inescapably wound up telling Steffi what he had seen. And what could the two of them conceivably do after that but partake a kiss? Sure, I've a handsome, loving, awful hubby who has no way formerly looked at another woman and worships the ground I walk on. But suddenly, I am in the mood for a waffler, I mean, hotcakes. Yes, hotcakes. That's what I crave. Credit CBS screenshot, I'll say that I didn't anticipate that particular twist. I should have, but there was no factual route laid for it. Hope spent weeks featuring about Thomas, so it sounded egregious commodity would be between them in Rome. But Steffi and Finn's marriage is solid if a bit boring. So the real question is whether she falls back into old patterns by sleeping with Liam, or, come Monday's occasion, pushes him down and points out that they have been down this roadway too numerous times. Speaking of well-trod Pat's fortune, Schmestini admitted the moment that Italian guest star mentioned the fortune revealing keyhole, you knew Ridge was gone to look through and see Brooke. Now showing Ridge Forrester and the keyhole of fortune. Credit Moro Sostini, this was another case of bold and beautiful, not only being ridiculously predictable, but twisting the story on a song to make commodity work. Suddenly, Ridge was feeling all glum pants, Indeed, going so far as to say is important in front of the press, who fully ignored his empirical extremity, and uninspired. And despite Brooke saying over and over that they were fated to reunite, what he really demanded was a magic keyhole. Whatever, what really bothers me about the Brooke-slash-Ridge reunion is that it was end-earned. 
These two have hurt one another, and everyone around them, over and over. Lately, they have both conceded as important and said that they need to stop hurting one another. Had we seen any growth on their corridor, any suggestion that they had learned their assignment, any assignment I'd feel else, but rather they are just magically reunited because, well, because Rome. Where's the drama in this? Sure, Taylor's going to be worried, but indeed she saw this coming from 1,000 long halls down. Then's hoping that unlike Brooke and Ridge, Taylor actually does learn from this and comes out the ultimate winner by allowing herself to find a new love. Heck, perhaps indeed the shocking bone. We have got in mind random studies asterisk it drives me nuts when this show ignore its own history. For illustration on the flight to Italy, Bill suggested Liam should bring Hope to hang out on the Stella Maris for a many days. How delicate would it have been to have Liam quip? You know, I can suppose of places I'd rather take my woman than the yacht on which she married my family. Asterisk I am not really big on transnational trip, but whenever Bold and Beautiful does a position shoot, they make me want to go there. And not for nothing, but no other cleaner does this kind of thing more. Hell, no other cleaner does this kind of thing presently, period. But thanks to those long ago established transnational distribution deals, the cleaner is so popular around the world that indeed were it to be cancelled by CBS, it would presumably live on. Call me crazy, but this is slightly more emotional than that Demez General Hospital goes on position to sometimes. Credit CBS screenshot asterisk, someone needs to educate Brooke that signs aren't commodity you prearrange. After suggesting Ridge should keep an eye open for the macrocosm to to shoot a sign proving they're fated to be together, she acted as if the cannon, which goes off every day, and the timing of which she had easily arranged with the cute guard, was the fellow of a pine cone accidentally conking him on the pate. Love finally wins big. If that moment isn't enough, a romantic scene set up by Brooke is sure to seal the deal. She ropes her friend Veronica Bocelli into surprising Ridge with a performance by her famous husband. Of course, Andrea Bocelli is more than happy to oblige. He sits down at his piano and plays his most famous ballad, A T. Oh, what a treat! This once-in-a-lifetime private concert is something Ridge will never forget. Talk about grand gestures. This is sure to prove Brooke's undang love and affection for her destiny. Ridge will be swept off his feet, and things will be right in Brooke's world once again. Trouble after paradise. Meanwhile, Liam is in a world of pain after seeing his cheating cheater of a wife cheat. He can't get the visions of Hope and Thomas out of his head, and it's a problem. Of course, it's a problem. Liam calls upon Wyatt to hear him out and help him sort through his feelings. Where will he go from here? What does he do next? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.